everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, Mangog and Magneto House of X Arena Round 2 is over, and I did go for the 5-star Mangog, so we're going to find out whether I got him. I'm pretty sure that I did. Uh, I put up a score well above the cutoff for Round 1. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, switch over here. And yep, we got him ranked 67. All right, so we'll go into that in a moment. But first, let's check out the basic, which was Magneto, White Magneto, as we call him, uh, House of X. And uh, we'll just take a look here at the leaderboards. This one is percentage-based, so um, I think thousands of people got this champion. Uh, I stopped in this particular arena. I didn't even put up the milestones like I usually do. Um, and the reason is I decided to uh, knock out Act 6.2.6. Uh, if you missed that stream, uh, it was a five-hour stream. Uh, take a look on the channel. It'll be uh, public for probably a, a week or so uh, before I make it unlisted. All right, but uh, we had fun this morning. Uh, I had a lot of resources expiring. Uh, I did the Cavalier uh, completion early this month and went ahead and got the offer for uh, units. And really what I was uh, getting it for was the um, six-star shards. But it came with a lot of team revives, level three single revives, um, team health potions. And it got down to the wire. I waited too late. And so this morning, it was either use them or lose them. And so I was trying my best to die more often. And I didn't do that very well and still ended up having to sell uh, a few of them, but we got quite a bit done. Uh, I wasn't even able to use up all of the 30% boosts. Um, but I'll try to do better if I do get the Cavalier uh, offer next month. I might uh, try to finish up Act 6 because, oh my goodness, that thing is long. Um, after two hours, we had done like one path. And uh, it was it was crazy. Um, the other paths were shorter. And uh, we knocked them all out. All right. I'm just a little, little tired. Uh, because uh, I was grinding for Mangog. And I always like to put up, you know, a good score. And uh, I woke up this morning. I think uh, four but I was up until one because I realized late that I didn't have as much time as I thought uh, for the uh, resources. So I was up until one, you know, trying to go through uh, Act 6 as much as possible. And I ended up not uh, dying a lot. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go to sleep. I was going to wake up at four, get my six stars, one last round done. Then I was going to um, face the champion. And I'm like, that's going to use up some resources. And so that's pretty much what I did. All right. We don't look at the three-star arena. You get the three-star for getting the top milestone in any of the featured arenas. And uh, I do all of the featured arenas uh, top milestone. All right, now I got the four star round one. So let's go ahead and look and see uh, if any of my friends got this champion round two. And I heard he went pretty low, much lower than the first round. Let's see. Uh huh. Now, I think some people, I don't know if they're collectors like me. Even if they got the five star round one, I can see them going for uh, the four star as well. Uh, I go for the four star round one 
That way I can see what the cutoff is and then plan accordingly. I don't aim for cutoffs. So I never put up just above the cutoff. Never, ever, ever. And uh, a couple of times in the past, that has uh, gotten me the champion when others missed. Uh, I remember Invisible Woman. She went for, I forget how much, uh, round one. And so people were like, okay, you know, we'll put up maybe, um, you know, two million, five million more. I put up over 10 million more. And she actually jumped like 10, 10 million or so. El Nino, congratulations. Um, she jumped up. I don't know why. Maybe the first round, something was going on, but um, she jumped a little over 10 million uh, more than the first round. So a lot of people missed her. I did not. Uh, I never, ever aim to be anywhere near the cutoff. And as a result, uh, to date, I have never missed a champion that I've gone for. Um, I always go for overkill. Anytime someone asks me, so what score do you think I should put up? It's going to be overkill. I, I tell you to do just what I do. If you want that champion, you need to put up, you know, as much as you can. All right. Now, let's go ahead and look at the five star. That's the score that I put up. He went for 47 million round one. And these days, 60 million for a non-hype champion seems to be good. Now, Odin's going to be coming to the contest, um, I'm, I'm thinking, next week. And he may go higher. I don't know. Um, from looking at him, uh, I don't think a lot of people are impressed. Uh, we do want him, though, for that uh, pre-fight. So... We'll see. Uh, I do intend to go for him myself. Uh, round two, of course. Uh, and so we'll see. We'll see what he goes for. All right. Black Gamer, congratulations. Six. Nice, nice, nice. Now, this guy is not that good. Um, Pharaoh, congratulations. Uh, the only reason I picked him up is to just add another champion to my roster. It's fun to collect. And indirectly, it will actually get me or help me get units. When there's a level up on, I always like to go for the um, second to last milestone, which gives you those units. Uh, since I don't buy units, I need to get them from the game. And right now, I have... Almost all of my champions, only Super Skrull, he's ranked two. And of course now, Mangog, um, but everyone else is rank three. So during a level up, I would have to rank up a six star or a five star and use up T2 alphas. And I don't have anyone that I really want to do that with just yet. So having him will help me. Um, have someone to rank up, I can take him to rank two, maybe straight to rank three uh, during the level up, and I'll be able to get those units. So that's one reason to keep getting champions uh, added to my roster. All right, so we got two of my friends here. Ben Riley, congratulations, and time to shine. I saw you. I see you now. Congratulations, man. I'm always missing Time to Shine because uh, his name on YouTube is slightly different than his name here. Jay Shine is on YouTube and his in-game name is Time to Shine, but I see you. So I got you. All right. And there I am. So we, we're close, man. Very, very close together. All right. Let's uh, keep going here. See if we see anyone else that we recognize. Big Sexy, what it do? Congratulations. Uh, Brutal DLX, congratulations. 
fellow CCP member and legend. If you guys don't know who Brutal DLX is, he was the first person to defeat Realm of Legends. Uh, Coat Hanger, congratulations. All right. A lot of people saw that he went for 47 and they figured, hey, we can pick him up. He's an easy pickup. Add him up. Um, I know uh, some people, uh, like uh, Katie Candy, believe that he is the better champ. She likes Mangog better than Odin. Uh, Duke Gecko, your name sounds familiar. Congratulations. I may have forgotten you, but your name sounds familiar. All right. Brandon, congratulations, my friend. Fellow uh, Dort. All right, let's see anyone else. I love it. Everyone on this leaderboard gets the champion top 300. So we get two pe 200 people uh, that we don't see got the champion. Uh, the four star featured. Uh, the four star featured uh, the top 800 get the champion. Uh, so if you are someone who got this champion and your name is not on this leaderboard whoop, and that's it uh feel free to leave a comment let me know what score you put up what ranking i always want to know uh round two is done so it's not going to help anyone you know plan their grind out but it's still good information to know all right so that's going to do it guys thank you all for watching the video hope you enjoyed it Hope you found it informative and fun. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.